Phantom jets that were actually launched from the Sixth Fleet towards Cairo with nuclear weapons on them. And the only reason why those uh, Phantom jets were recalled was because the ship did not sink. Had the ship sunk, more than likely, back in 1967, a false flag carried out by Israel would have resulted in a potentially nuclear attack on Egypt, which was allied, which was allied with the Soviet Union at that time. So we came this close, this close to the end of the world as we know it, the Third World War, a nuclear exchange between ourselves and the Soviet Union because of the Israeli attack on the Mavi, or excuse me, on the USS Liberty. And so the Mavi Marmara has a lot of similarities in terms of uh, what actually happened. It was another example of Israel being able to do whatever the hell it wants and get away with it. One of the passengers they killed on that ship, by the way, was an American citizen. His name was Firkin Gowan. He was you know, of Turkish descent, but he was an American citizen, a 19-year-old kid. A lovely kid, I, I, you know, a lovely young man. I, I met him just briefly. I remember him uh, vaguely. Uh, but uh, this young kid, if you read the stories uh, about what happened to him, and I've actually read the ballistics reports for him and several of the others that were killed, this kid was, was executed, flat out executed. He was up on the top deck of the ship, and when they attacked, he was filming, and he was shot a total of five times. Um, the first four shots were at range, at distance, you know, probably from a sniper on a helicopter. And uh, he was hit in the side of the head, back of the head. That didn't kill him, but it, you know, seriously injured him. He was shot in the back, and it traveled through his back, through his left lung, shattered a couple of his ribs. He was shot in the leg, his tibia, and he was also shot in the foot. He was on the ground, on his back. And this is from eyewitness reports, and also the ballistic report supports this. Um, the final shot was, was uh, the fist shot, which was at point blank range, while he was on his back. And it, uh, clearly, it was a shot like this, and, uh, and it hit him just under the right eye, uh, and that was it. That was the kill shot for him. It was an execution. There was tattooing on the wound, so we know the muzzle flash actually tattooed his face. So, again, it was a point blank kill shot. Um, of the nine people that were murdered on the day, six of them, clearly the ballistics reports show, that they were executed. They were injured, but still alive, and shot either uh, in the back or the back of the head. And this is what they did. 